Hey everyone, this is Alex USA Days. So today I thought I'm gonna do a little bit of a different video and show you something cool. I just ordered a taxi without a driver and maybe not a new thing for those people who drive Tesla and they have autopilot, but this is Waymo and it's running just in a couple places in the United States and San Francisco and Phoenix. And Waymo is a car that has no driver. So it's autopilot taxi and my trip, a couple miles, $25, a little bit expensive, but I think it's pretty cool to see the technology, you know, there's something we've read about in fantasy books or um, books about future, like 10 years ago or 20 years ago, now is becoming our everyday life. And I just wanted to share this experience with you. I think it's pretty cool. All right, so here's the car getting in parking see no, no one's driving it I'm not sure what I want to sit um, I don't know, maybe back of the car you have to unlock it through the app the door handles pops out and I'm just getting inside there's no one here All right, it says start ride. Right, let's start the ride. Hello from Waymo. Waymo. We get going. Just let's go. <laughs> Don't touch the steering wheel or pedals. And they're filming me, I'm filming them. They're filming me and this is Jaguar? Oh, they can't hear me. I can say whatever I want. I can scream out loud. I don't know how much can be seen from here, but are there lights? Maybe. Well, arrival in 11 minutes. And just, just going. Just driving, just like that. On its own. Pretty insane. It goes exactly at the speed limit and you have control over AC and stuff. Compartment here. So there's navigation up front. It's going at the speed allowed in the area by itself. Like exactly at the same speed all the time, unless you know it needs to stop and stuff some garbage it did break a little bit for some garbage on the road but just a slight tap um back is empty some lights there and there's also a camera on the back not a camera there's also navigation on the back and you can pull over if you want can you you can change music can I just turn it off? No music. That's it. Yep. And we're going. This is so weird. The experience of it. The car just driving by itself. Feels surreal. Now, for those of you who likes Back to the Future... I mean, we should have been having flying cars by now. And flying skateboards and hoverboards and all that stuff. We don't have it, but I think maybe no flying cars yet, but this is pretty damn cool. Uh, I think there was another scene in Terminator or not Terminator. One that was with Arnold where he would order a taxi and the taxi came with a robot as a driver and you don't really need the robot as a driver i mean the, the robot is the ai driving the car right but uh, interesting how they envisioned the futuristic concept of self-driving cars with an android 
like a robot driving your car and pressing pedals and steering the wheel and they did not think about the car just being the the device to drive itself that would be the probably the the most smart way to do it right you don't need to put a robot to interact with the car because this is you just like adding another layer of interface you don't need that you can build it in the car and it drives itself and i think i truly think once we have some regulations and things in place to have it affordable we will have some sort of flying cars uh, as as a real thing somewhere in the future maybe 20 years first of all you know we'll have to have things more automated and having automated cars will be the norm and driving by yourself will be like for if you want to can have fun in the experience of it but driving self-driving cars is going to be the norm and once we have that we'll probably have self-flying cars that you can't really control as a human you just, i mean control in terms of setting up destination and going somewhere but not controlling in terms of you know flying it by yourself unless you really allow to like you maybe have to have like pilot license or similar thing to that uh, but yeah, an experience of having a car that flies you wherever you want, using the invisible roads in the air, is something that we will see in the future. I'm, I'm pretty sure of it. I mean, unless humanity manages to destroy itself, hopefully not. Hopefully we can overcome the, the desire to fight one another and conquer other people's lands and territories. But, you know just have the progress to the people without the without the bad tendencies of the human nature and we're just going this is so crazy oh changing just change the lanes uh it did turn on the signal pressed on the brake a little bit, turned the car in the other lane, moved the car in the other lane and to bypass them. And we're still going. And changing lane again, so it actually passed by the car that was going slower <laughs> uh, than the taxi. This is so crazy. Wow. So, I've also seen some videos where a car, a self-driving car, a taxi gets in like an accident or it does some weird thing where the, there's a road construction, doesn't know where to go and drives into place where it's not supposed to be in the cop, follows the car, turns the lights on, the car stops and then the cop talks to the support in the car through the interface and calls the sport tell what's happening but i wonder in that case so if self-driving car didn't obey the rules uh and it turned somewhere we're not supposed to go because maps are not up to date or there's so Don't let your belongings ride so long. grab your phone now um so it just drove somewhere it's not supposed because of construction some update that wasn't there in the map for your safety the doors will remain locked when we arrive who who the ticket goes to who gets the ticket the car the company i mean so interesting all right so yeah i arrived and it was pretty great <laughs> great experience future is here frontal camera though still sucks in the low light but hey Maybe sometime soon. <laughs> I can say bye. Waits for me to open the door. Just gonna say goodbye. Goodbye car. Thanks for the ride. Checking my stuff. And is it gonna go? Yeah. All right, lock the doors and it's going by. All right, so some afterthought uh, after I arrived home. 
there's a lot of implications of everything becoming self-driving or services being automated. Um, definitely, it's going to impact our future and the jobs that we do. On one hand, those products, they do take the jobs away, right? But on the other hand, they do create other jobs. They create more maintenance. There definitely have to be human operators that oversee uh, where the car is going. If there's an incident, there have to be someone who helps to resolve the incident. Even though maybe it does remove a lot of jobs, it also creates some new jobs, right? But at some point in future where many things are automated, um, well, we're definitely going to see flux of influx of people that are doing maintenance and testing and uh, development of those things. But we also have to figure out uh, what are we going to do with all the jobs that automation takes away, right? Uh, there is discussion about the universal income. Um, there, there is a discussion that you know what can we do to help uh, shift the focus. What, what kind of human potential can we open up? Uh, creativity how can people still feel that they're doing something and uh, feel that they're useful when a lot of jobs are being taken away by automation in my opinion i mean it, this is pretty distant future maybe not that distance but when you and i we are older uh, in our 60s maybe that's going to have the impact going to be there like the profound impact of many things are being done by automated systems um but I also believe that when we're there, a lot of the things that, you know, we think about, they're going to be resolved on its own through the progress, the things that we don't think, right? Um, when the horses went away off the roads and the cars, we, we got the drivers and mechanics. When uh, drivers going to get away, we're still going to have people that will be maintaining and fixing things. And I think some other jobs will come along with it. So hopefully that is going to get covered for the people that you know can no longer drive and there still might be some regulations that will enforce companies even if they have automation to actually have some force that is a driving force maybe some percentage of people that still prefer real drivers instead of ai or automation system driving them it's not only driving cooking serving making coffee many many other things um so i remain hopeful that even though you know, automation is going to bring comfort, but I, I remain hope, hopeful that it will also bring jobs in terms of more testing, more maintenance, more people kind of overseeing those things, and some other new positions, some new uh, jobs going to pop up because of the things shifting from one thing to another in the future. But overall, it's great to see, uh, you know, that humanity advanced so far. Hard to imagine being a person 100 years ago let's say you live in, in 1900s and all of a sudden you see planes, cars, TV, iPhones, everything like we leave, we, we, we have it in everyday life and we take it for granted. Show it to someone to, that lived 120 years ago, they will look at this and they'll think that you know they got teleported to another dimension, that that is not reality. For them, it will be something out of fiction, even more than that, something that their mind probably could not think about um, that could be real. And we did it as a humanity. So yeah, more things to come. <laughs> All right, this is Alex, you say days. Thank you and bye-bye.